Well, we're almost done. Uh, I wanted to talk about how the course is going to end a little bit and talk about the final. So there's one last problem set to work. Uh, we have problem set 12 that we have to do. And there is a final examination for those who want to uh, get a, obtain a certificate for the course. But before we talk about the final, I want to point out we have covered a lot of ground. We started with circuits, learning about RLC circuits. We have continued that to talk about digital and analog signals. And we have seen some of the applications of these ideas in the communication systems and learned some very new and exciting things in information theory about how to compress signals and about how to communicate signals from one place to another with no error. This material will prepare you for a fair number of other courses that are on Coursera. Uh, they go the range from hardware oriented kind of courses, there's a course in robotics, and there are these signal processing courses that Fundamentals of Electrical Engineering has prepared you to take. I'm sure if you look at edX you'll see some more and as time goes on more and more courses will rely on this course to prepare you for them. Well, Let's talk about the final. The final does cover the entire course. Uh, goes all the way from circuits to information theory. It has exactly the same format as the problem set. You won't find any surprises uh, since you've been working the problem sets. Uh, the answer kind of formats are the same and the questions asked are very similar. Now to prepare for the final you have two weeks starting on the 15th of April to uh, prepare for the final and to work it you will have three attempts to work the final when we get there. Uh, but I do want to point out some things that are in the uh, link to this video. You may have noticed all these document icons. What those are, are the problem sets and the exercises with solutions that you can download and look at to help you prepare for the final. Uh, I recommend that you write down key formulas, uh, things like the Fourier transform tables, Fourier transform properties, things like that, anything that you think is especially important, and put them down in one place so that you won't have to be looking up these kind of things while you take the final. And this also helps you uh, learn the material, of course. Now, uh, taking the final, uh, you have two consecutive days, 48 hours, to work the final any time during that two-week period. So uh, take the first part of the two-week period, for example, to prepare for the final, and then when you think you're ready, you start uh, the final itself. You have two days to complete it. The final is entirely open book. Anything that has to do with this course, you can access while you are taking the final during that 48-hour period. They're all available to you. You can look at anything that's, that's there. The final should be your work. No collaboration with anybody else. I want to know how well you uh, have gotten the material down. The discussion forum will be limited to uh, issues with the questions. You can also ask uh, other students about, I don't understand this, do you have a way of thinking about it, that kind of thing is fine uh, on, the, on the discussion forum. But no answers to problems will, will, should be put on the forum. And to obtain a certificate for the course, all everything depends on a passing grade on the final. Those on signature track will have a little bit different certificate than the ones who don't, aren't on signature track but if you pass the final, you will earn a certificate. Well, there's one last thing I'd like to talk about, and that's the survey. Please complete the survey. I want to hear what you think about this course and how uh, we can improve it in the future. You'll also find a question or two there about a lab course that we're envisioning that would go along with this course. And so anyway, I've had a great time teaching this course online, and I hope you've enjoyed taking it.